The Holocaust, the murder of six million Jews during the Second World War between 1939 and 1945, was one of the great tragedies of history. I'd read a great deal about it. I had worked in my historical work on other subjects in archives where there was Holocaust material. But I hesitated for a long time before embarking on writing about it. It was a painful subject. And I also was very conscious of the mass of material that I would have to read. So many countries were involved, every country in Europe, and over such a long period of time. And so many terrible camps, concentration camps, death camps, so many ghettos, the life and death of which had to be described. In working on the book, in putting it together, I wanted also to combine the official documents, largely those of the Germans and the perpetrators of crimes, in which they described their crimes. I wanted to combine this with the records left by those who were the victims, those who were murdered, or those who miraculously survived to write down an account of what they had been through. I didn't want to describe any event of the Holocaust without having some eyewitness account, without being able to say this is what was written, spoken, said at the time. I also wanted to make sure that the voice of people who were not necessarily articulate and the voice of children, a million and a half Jewish children were murdered in the Holocaust, that somehow their voices and their stories should be part of my narrative. I used records from all over the world. I used the extraordinary evidence given at the Eichmann trial in which people who had participated in and been witnesses to every aspect of the Holocaust, gave evidence, gave graphic evidence to a court in Jerusalem. And I traveled around the world finding people who had witnessed these events, talking to survivors on every continent. It's a somber story, but it also has an inspiring side. The story of resistance and revolt, of Jews who struggled against their oppressors, and of non-Jews, of Christians all over Europe, who risk their own lives in order to save the lives of Jews. To help the reader, I also drew a series of maps so that every single place mentioned in the book, however tiny a place it might be, is mapped on one of the maps. And you can find where it is that I'm writing about, where it is that the events I'm describing took place.